Yep guys, welcome to my channel, it's Roam Xblit and in today's video we are gonna make a simple render in Recon 4D so let's open the app and here we are in the interface so I'll delete this tool and hide the camera and also delete the light and then let's add a plane for the ground make it bigger and then add a cube and I think we should make the plane a little bit smaller because we are going to make a house first so just here like this and then go to edit mode then go to edit mode and here we have to make to some changes like adding a loop cut here another one here and then a loop cut here a loop cut here and again one loop cut another loop cut one more here and here one ok done and now we have to select the faces and then extrude them I think we have some problems so we have to go to multi select then select the faces long press and select the faces then click on extrude then extrude it inside wait a minute First, let me extrude them both. Okay, done. And now extrude these two faces. Okay, and I will just delete this line, but it's not visible. So, okay, let it be here and add another cube. Bring it here, edit it, like shrink it a little bit, and place it somewhere like this, and spread it. Now you have to change its color. So select a material, new material. the color okay done and now for the ceiling here I make another for the roof another cube and just it um okay like this then going to edit mode selecting this and adjust and I am just making a simple thing so I will not make many details for them ok and we have to make the model a little bit bigger done and take a material for this too new material and open it and change the color okay and same goes for the down part of the like walls
okay and make the planet a little bigger and i'll make a windmill beside the house so get a cylinder take it like somewhere like here and go to edit mode and then select the upper part okay and extrude it make it a little bit smaller then again extrude and bring it up here okay make it a little bit smaller then again extrude it and I'll add two loop cuts one here and one here then long press and select this one two three four faces then extrude them shrink them okay done and we have to make the windmills like blades so add another cube go to object mode then bring the cube here first make, go to edit mode okay select all the faces make the faces smaller and then go to object mode go to hierarchy and select the cube here now make the cube little bit smaller you but i'll make it in edit mode okay and make it smaller and now extrude one face make the face very small like this okay and now extrude the face again now something like this and like this okay this will be right like this again a little bit spreading okay this will be i think this will be enough and go to object mode again and now we have to copy the object once here and then again and rotate them and okay this will be nice and add a sphere let's pair in the sphere with one of the cubes so here the sphere parent click on parent and then click on cube and then click on sphere and i'll just make the spheres location to zero one location to zero other to zero and also goes for this location okay so all are set to zero now we have to make it a little bit smaller okay done and yep and the material of the blades add material change the color then it will be specular and for this just select select the material for the blades for the sphere to so we will have the same material okay 
and now for the windmill so here i'll add another like texture and color it okay done so now we have to make the plane bigger and change the color of the plane okay here let's make it green and now we have to select a light so add light bring it up here thing we should okay now go to object mode of the light then make it direction light um okay and change the color of the light to a little bit yellow i think yellow would be nice and i'm going to change the color of the ceiling so how about blue okay and for the background i'll add a here you can see skybox just click on the skybox and you can select a image from your gallery so i'll add a sky hdri image from my gallery okay so as you can see see i have added the sky so i just have to find a good location so yeah it's okay and here now um that's not that bad but it's okay never mind and illusion and increase the resolution of the render and let's render the image i know that it's a not a very good render but not that bad so just a simple video or something like that so if you like the video you know what to do and we will meet again in next video comment what you want to see next so bye